We've been stuck at home for a couple of weeks. Come and find out why. Hi YouTube! Hey guys! It's been a while and I'm sure you're wondering what's been happening. But if you're new here, we took all of last year off and we travelled in our Windsor Daintree, Harvey. I'll pop up a link here. Scott and I returned to the workforce and trying to work out where and how RV life could fit in. This led to us exploring if Harvey was still a good fit. So our last couple of vlogs showed us going to a couple of the caravan and camping shows. Yeah, we went to the Geelong uh, Leisure Outdoor Show yeah. and we went to the Melbourne Super Caravan Show, I think it was called. Yeah, they were pretty good actually. And if you haven't seen those, I'll throw a link here. So going to those shows, it really opened our eyes in seeing what other makes and habitats and layouts were available for roughly the same money that you could now buy the 2023 Daintree for. Yeah, it definitely opened our eyes and really thought about, well, what could the options be? So 12 months on the road in Harvey had us thinking. We actually did find some faults with the positives. There's still positives to a Dane tree. Yeah, absolutely. But there was some faults, wasn't there? Yeah. And they started sure. to niggle away at us over that 12 months, didn't they? And especially having two dogs, you know, we needed that extra room. So yeah, so if it's not obvious by now, We've decided to explore our options and see what we can find that offers more storage space, more passenger space, yeah. um, and the possibility of a drivetrain change. Yeah, that's some really exciting options, especially some options around not front wheel drive, because obviously we had a few problems during our travels as well. If you caught all our videos from last <laughs> year, you may have noticed we got stuck one or two times. Bogged one or two times. Let us know below if you're searching or if you've recently bought an RV and how you looked at what your wants and needs were. We think a price range would be our first decision, followed by the habitat layout. We really do like um, the full rear ensuite, don't we? We don't want to lose yeah. that. I, don't, I want to have a separate shower and toilet, definitely. Yeah, the full ensuite that's the dry ensuite, so yeah. the toilet's out of the shower. I think we, we love that factor about Harvey. Mm. Um, many other factors we love about Harvey. Um, we actually do like its compactness because it suits us. We don't want to go extra long. We don't want to get a truck license. So we think something that's still compact, we do love that rear ensuite, as I just said. Yeah. We actually have grown to not so much like the electric bed. Nah, I've gone off the electric bed, especially having to set it up of a night time, pull it down in the morning. Yeah, so we're, yeah. we're thinking of having um, something that doesn't compromise having a full-time dinette yeah. and a full-time bed. And then once we've discovered the price and the habitat layout, I think the last thing would be looking at the chassis or the drivetrain, true? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We, I suppose there's other options out there. You've got all-wheel drive, you've got rear-wheel drive. Um, there are good front-wheel drives out there, but um, we're thinking we're due for a change. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Ollie, snoring, sorry. <laughs> So Harvey is being cleaned and prepared for, for sale. Well, that's the end of an era.
So it only took a couple of days, but he sold quickly. Mm. And now he's off to his new owner, so we wish them all the best. Yeah, they'll love him. He's done us well. So now all it's left up to is for us to make a few decisions yeah. and then we'll let you know what those decisions are and we'll take you along for the ride. So watch out for the next video because I will probably start producing a video outlining those decisions and our choices. Exciting times ahead. Definitely. Anyway, we'll see you next time. See you guys. We'll see you out on the road once we get back there. In a new van. Yay. Bye. See you guys. Started. So the red light out. With oh sorry. It's all right. I'll, I'll do that one first. Okay. So start again. And fit out. And then the chassis. Chassis. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so little <laughs> little